Well, good evening, folks. Welcome on board. Our members of the South Dakota High School Activities Association, which have adopted the rules under which the games are Taking care of the announcements here for the High School Activities Association. We would first like to introduce the starting lineup from the visiting Sioux Falls, Washington Warriors. Number two. A junior midfielder, Ali Van Ginkle. Number three, a senior defender, Javi <coughs> Ginaldo. Number five, a junior defender, Lily Larson. Number six, a senior forward, Peyton Stengel. Number eight, a senior defender, Hannah Johnson. Number nine, a junior midfielder, Sydney Rodman. Number ten, a junior forward, Skylar Mowen. Number twelve, a senior midfielder, Morgan Moe. Morgan Moe. A senior goalie. Morgan Moe, one of the top players in the state last year. Megan Etram, uh, sophomore, very solid player. Karen Thompson, another senior forward. Coach Guzzi and Coach Brighton. And now the starting line for your Stephen Grader. Number zero, a sophomore goal defender, Aaliyah Richter. Aaliyah Richter starting in the goal. Sophomore. Number four, a senior defender, Mackenzie Winter. Number three, a junior midfielder, Gabby DeMars. Couple top players there, girls who have uh, come up through the Rapid City SWAT program. 
here in Rapid City, Coach Tony Harrison. Gabby DeMars, uh, last year making the uh, Soccer 605 Elite 11 as a sophomore. They're telling me that uh, Coach Fusera has moved her up into the middle of the park this year. Sage Samling. Sarah, assisted by a <laughs> English. What are you up to? Just calling a game here. Live? Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. You get it all at one so, time. So yeah, you'll have to excuse me, folks. I just had Coach Tony Harrison show up, and I'm not. I'm not gonna let him get out of here without saying I. Likewise. Yeah. Are you going to be around tonight after the games? Okay. Let's try to connect. Let's do it. Yeah, because we have to go get scores updated and stuff and yeah, pop right. across the street or something. See anybody. All right. We have uh, the patriotic chores uh, taken care of. Teams are on the field and ready to roll. To you, so I, I should mic you up, then you could comment on the game. I could And we're off. Stevens making an early foray. Bang back out of there by the Washington defense. Gabby DeMars giving him fits there in the middle, but they get the ball back into the corner. Skyler Moan, the junior uh, for Washington after it real hard. Deep throw in now here for the Raiders. Thank you. 
That'll be a warrior's throw. <coughs> Folks, I think it's about uh, somewhere around 87, 88 degrees here at kickoff. Of course, down on that artificial turf, it's always a little bit warmer. But we do have kind of a comfortable breeze. I'm standing up here in the shade. I might be looking for a jacket later on tonight. <laughs> I want to remind all you folks from Sioux Falls watching, uh, tomorrow you have an opportunity to go help out a South Dakota soccer legend, Dan Yellowhan, who's uh, been fighting cancer. They're having a fundraiser at the Gateway Lounge starting at 2 o'clock. So we sure hope you can make it. Support Coach O'Han. He has done so much for soccer in South Dakota. Quick counter here. But that's run down on the back. And Adriana Heinert picks that one up. Right in the middle. Ball headed on to Skyler Moan. She'll pull the trigger. Hard cross. That barely misses. For the Warriors. And Skyler Moan had Aaron Thompson. On the back end of that cross. Morgan Wood trying to get past. She cuts inside, sends one into the middle, and that's kicked out by Washington. Long shot deflected on the way in. Gabby Morris gets her head on that. Who's in the middle, Tony? Okay, Wendell Gaiman from Hot Springs, our center tonight. That's a soccer guy there. He played at Messiah as a college player. Ball from behind there on Hannah Johnson, center mid for the Warriors. Nice crowd here tonight at the Sioux Park Stadium. Come on, girl. That hits side netting. Real nice effort there by Stevens. <laughs> and that was Mallory Schoenhardt, I think, that had that rip to the near post. First timer, that deflects on a sway in. And that's put out for a corner. Set 
States. Headed out by Washington and put right back in. And that's a goal. Oh. Offside. Washington really dodged a bullet there. I'm sure Coach uh, Scott Guzzi will be uh, talking about getting a little more aggressive on defending against those set pieces and longer balls in. Nice to meet you, Jared. <laughs> I'll throw. You see a lot of those foul throws, but you don't see a lot of them called. Gabby DeMora steps in, wins that. Pulls it back. Trying to possess around Washington right now. They're playing a lot of pressure in the middle of the park. This could be trouble. Morgan Moe gets a ball up to Skyler Moe, and she has a left-handed shot, but that goes wide of the of the mark. Aaron Thompson sends one through. That's gathered up in the back there by Alexis Kohlhoff, center back. For the Raiders. And next door, we'll try to keep a little eye on the game next door. Uh, Rapid City Central girls playing Sioux Falls Lincoln. And hopefully we'll be uh, getting some updates as we move along here this evening for you. <laughs> Folks, uh, while we got you on the broadcast here tonight, why don't you take a little trip over to Facebook and find the Soccer 605 page and let us know uh, where you're watching from and who you're supporting here. While you're at it, like that page. We're having a lot of fun on Soccer 605 every day. We'd love for you to be a part of that. Gabby DeMars touches it inside. A little pressure there. Ball comes in, handled easily there. Big punt out. Flicked on to Skyler Moan. She turns it back in. Help arrives. And I think that looked like a throw. 
Sure enough. Throw in now for the Warriors. Gabby DeMars. Trying to pass out of the back. That's deflected out. Gabby DeMar is so strong there in the middle. It'll be uh, fun to watch her going against the Julie Teslow tomorrow in the Lincoln game. Two very strong players. Okay, we can throw that one in now. Morgan Mo bangs it up, it runs out of bounds. And Malia Richter, sophomore keeper, will put it back in play. Reagan Odegaard runs that one down, puts it right up into a nice space up to Hannah Spielman. Washington doing a real nice job cutting out the passing angles right now as the Raiders try to get it out of the back. Popped up there by Stevens, but set back in. Big battle on the side. Skyler Moen temporarily wins that. She's keeping the pressure on staying with the play. Sage Simelli comes up and wins that for the Raiders. They maintain possession here. By way of throw. We've kind of seen a back and forth here today. Looks like uh, Stevens will control play a little bit, and then Washington will take over. That'll be Raiders' throw.
Little left footed pass up into the middle of the park. Washington looking to counter. This touch there. Morgan Moe gets a hit on it, but not a lot of pace. That's handled easily by Malia Richter. Long attempt there. That's headed back out by the Warriors. Morgan Moe turns and gives it up to the wing, but nobody there. Much clearer. Gabby DeMars had the ball. She comes forward, makes a little pass through, and that's going to run out for a goal kick. And the Raiders getting players forward. Be another goal kick. Pretty flat ball out. Gabby DeMars sends it back where it came from. Real nice ball in there by Morgan Wood. But Adriana Heinert picks it right out of the air. Skyler Mullen still with the play. And Skyler can't control it as it comes out. Morgan Mull is hot after that ball there. Real dangerous moment. Dangerous moment. And the Raiders escape that time. Both teams have had their opportunities. The ball even in the uh, onion bag for the Raiders, but uh, an offside call negated that. Go! Yes! And Adriana Heiner gets on top of that one. Little love tap there on Morgan Moe. Got her off her rhythm. And she was looking for Skyler Moen over <laughs> on the side, as she always does. So, And we're going to enjoy a water break here. You can see the... Stands starting to fill up here at the Sioux Park Stadium. Real good contingent here from Sioux Falls. Not the Washington boys team down there. And we're halfway through the first with a scoreless tie.
Central and Lincoln girls are tied 1-1 at, at the middle of the halftime over on the other field. I'm sitting here with uh, Coach Tony Harrison, who's uh, doing some referee assessing. What do you think, Tony, so far of the first half? Well, it's going well. I think both teams have had some uh, good shots at some scoring, and that's some uh, definitely some battles going on in the field. No doubt, it's it's fun to see the girls at this age, you know, in that in that development where they've got the skill and the strength and the muscle, but they just need that one final little piece, and they're finding it, and, and uh, it's going to be a good game. Great. Wendell Gaiman doing a good job there in the middle, letting the girls play. All right, here we go again. We'll be back with you at 8 o'clock uh, after the conclusion of this game and a warm-up to bring you the boys' versions of these two teams. Should be another very competitive game. Moll well, sends one through. And that'll be a corner. Look like there's a little bit of tentative uh, tentative uh, nature there by a couple of the Raider girls. Now they'll have to defend this. Washington moved their tall girls right into the middle. Banged out of there, but it's going to get sent right back in. Lily Larson uh, can't get a real good touch on that. And now the Raiders end up with the ball there at halfway. <coughs> And a shot comes in that goes wide right. Gabby <laughs> DeMars sends that one right back where it came from. Dangerous ball through, but Malia Ricker comes out there and takes care of that. Aaron Thompson had her sights on that ball. Washington not afraid to play that long ball, and they've had some some uh, success getting in with it. They haven't uh, got anything in the onion bag yet, but uh, they've gotten in. I want to direct you folks who are watching on Soccer 605 to the scrolling dasher boards above and below your video player. I want to do a big shout out to those sponsors who are making this live stream possible and so much of all the other Sports 605 activities. Home Federal Bank, Vifo Brady's. Not a lot of danger there. The original Pancake House, cellular only. Get on down there to Verizon and get your phone and watch a game on your phone. That one deflected out of bounds. Earlier today we uh, saw the Mitchell uh, boys fall to Yankton 0 to 6 and I believe they're at Yankton and of course these scores I'm reading you are not official scores they're just uh, tweeted in by posse members from around the state 
Aaron Thompson and Reagan Odegaard uh, in a battle over there. Reagan Odegaard uh, gets it and just kicks it up the side. Looks like at halftime, uh, James Valley Christian are up on Mitchell uh, Christian 5 to nil. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm seeing uh, Gabby DeMars there in the middle, and uh, she does well there. I kind of liked her a little bit better playing mess her stopper position last year. She seemed to get a lot more touches on the ball there. And here come the Raiders. Fourteen minutes left in the first half here. Anna Johnson stepped in there and tried to get it forward. That's intercepted on its way. She puts it up along the side to Skylar Moe, and she puts it inside. Morgan Moe, she tries to put it through, but there's Reagan Odegaard. She's not going to let that happen. Either side deciding they're going to want the ball right now. Here, Coach Guzzi over there on the side encouraging his girls to step it up a little bit. Opportunity here. Morgan would have the ball, but just didn't have enough room to get a good crank on it. Morgan Moe does a little pullback. She has Skyler Moen. And that'll be offside. She couldn't have been off far, but I guess all you need is the width of the playing card. You're still off. Ball runs into the corner. That's tapped out there by Lily Larson, I believe. There, puts it up halfway. Gabby DeMorris makes a nice little touch over. She gets the ball back.
and a long one comes in. Heiner picks it out of the air. Kind of a little bit of a dangerous ball. The sun is at kind of a bad angle right now for both keepers. As it begins to descend behind the Black Hills here behind us. That'll be a Washington throw. Offside call. Not everyone agrees. Aaron Thompson steals that. That goes wide right. Quite a ways right. And Malia Richter. Puts it in play. And that runs out of bounds. Gabby DeMars carrying the ball forward. She makes it through quite a few. She taps it over to the right channel. That entry ball intercepted. Long ball out. And Skyler Mullen offsides once more. She's holding a real high line. She wants to get that one step advantage. And if she ever does, watch out. Gabby yeah, DeMars can't control it. It'll be a Washington throw. Pass picked off. They try to put it through immediately, but that doesn't make it. Raiders counter off that. And that'll be a Raider throw. Just under seven minutes now left here in the half. We're still scoreless. Both teams have had good opportunities. Morgan Moe gets it out on the wing again. Skyler Moen takes a little bit too excessive of a touch there. That rolls out. Try to find Aaron Thompson on the other side. That's knocked out of there by Reagan Odegaard. Nice little move. Let the Raider defense steps to it. Morgan Moe on the ball again for the Warriors. And that will be a corner.
I want to remind you folks watching from Sioux Falls or that area, <clears throat> tomorrow um, they're having a fundraiser for Coach Daniel O'Han at the Gateway at 2 o'clock. Daniela has given so much to the soccer community. Get on down there to the Gateway at 2 and help raise some, raise some money to help Coach uh, Danielle fight cancer. We're with you, Coach. Ball kicked off there. But the moment she tries to find Mo in the middle, a little high on that. Big ball up, but Thompson can't get to that one. Dangerous scenario there. Just over three minutes left. And maybe we'll be able to get you a little analysis here at halftime. Quite a change from last uh, Friday night as we brought you the opening games from Yankton in a very hot, very humid day at Lewis and Clark Park in Yankton. Ouch. That's all I can say about that one. In the middle it comes. Sent forward. Reagan Odegaard gathers that one up. A little too long there. And Adriana Heinert handles that one easily. They're really looking for Skyler Moen time after time after time. Raiders doing a great job of cutting down those passing angles, especially in the middle of the park. They try to find Jenna Mitchell, Mitchell but the uh, ball rolls out. That shot goes wide right. Cassie Jones there on that shot. Clock ticking away here. About half a minute left here in the half.
And that's going to do it. First half ends in a scoreless draw. Members of the local media here in Rapid City. Guy in the black shirt there, Justin Wickersham, one of our good friends here in the media. I want to make sure and remind you again, folks, uh, while you got a little time here at halftime, go find the Soccer 605 Facebook page and like that page. Tell us where you're watching from and who you're supporting. You know, not a lot got decided that half. At times, you know, you kind of wondered which team wanted to have the ball. And it looks like we have a mercy rule a final. After 60 minutes, James Valley Christian wins over Mitchell Christian 10 0. I'm looking at the uh, roster here, and I've been, uh, for much of the game, calling Peyton Stenzel, who's an attacking center man. I've been calling her Morgan Moe. Sorry about that, Peyton. I'll make it up to you somehow. I think I heard somebody say the Lincoln uh, Central game next door was two to one, but I didn't hear who was leading. Six minutes left here in the intermission. Well, folks, we're going to hop off here for a minute. We'll stretch the old legs out. We'll be back here in a little uh, under six minutes, and we'll finish this thing.
if you see Amy come out, I don't know, I'm over here. Oh, you don't know, you don't know Amy. I'll tell the world. I thought I heard something. Well, folks, here we are. We're getting ready to play the second half here. Just got word that the first half of the Rapid City Central versus Sioux Falls Lincoln game uh, is at 3-2 with Central leading. And... Referee Gaiman says, let's go. Raiders play it around the back. Looking for a way through over on the other side. Sage Samelli Samelli uh, heads it forward there. And it comes, it deflects out. And Adriana Heinert has it in her hands. Out it comes, a little past halfway. Good battle there. Gabby DeMars comes out of there with the ball. Pass intercepted. They're trying to find Gabby DeMars. And they dis dispossess that attacker.
Raiders coming forward here. <clears throat> Washington do a nice job of getting in front of that attack. But here comes Reagan Odegaard. Passes up. Sage Samley really after it there. Kinsey winner now. Throw it in. And that'll be out for another Raider throw. Good battle there in the middle. Hear the positive encouragement being shouted out on the field. <laughs> Doesn't it always seem to go when a your player getting knocked down? It's a foul, and when a third player getting knocked down, it's a good physical play. Gabby Morris touches it back. They bring it on back here to Reagan Ogregard. She. Puts it back in the middle. Peyton Stenzel in there challenging that one. That's banged out of the back. Raiders having a good run of play. Oh. Well done, Raiders! Really heads up play there by Malia Richter, who was way out of her goal to come stop that attack. Gabby Morris keeps it in, drops it back. Aaron Thompson was there, though. She can't get a, her hips prepared enough when she sends it in. and That's banged over the line for her. a goal kick. Touch back, kick back up in the middle. Aaron Thompson trying to get a piece of it there, but can't.
And that's deflected out by Stevens. That'll be a Washington goal kick. Gabby DeMars wins that ball. They're looking for Kylie Claiborne up on the top left. Kylie's been running hard up there. Morris puts one in to the top of the D. Washington gathered up, but now Stevens have the ball again. In it comes, and that goes over. Hey, folks, you can represent the 605 with Authentic Soccer 605 and any other kind of sports uh, 605 platform gear. Just click on that icon to our clothing partner, Dakota Lettering and Dakota Sports. They got a great store set up for us online there. Great prices. So click on that, go order your stuff, represent. If you don't see anything there online that you like, you can always go to one of the stores in Sioux Falls or Rapid City and pick out your clothes. They'll embroider them for you and get them to you right away. Dakota Lettering, the official Sports 605 clothing partner. Greg and Odegaard gets a touch on that. Tries to put it in. Comes back out. DeMars has it. She's going to carry up along the left. Finally deflected out. And that'll be a Washington goal kick. Raiders possessing around quite a bit of pressure. Through it goes. Kylie Claiborne has a shot. She just can't get a can't get good pace on it there with her left foot as she comes forward. Just under 30 left here in the match. Skyler Mullen has a try from the left side. That goes back behind the goal, wide left. Substitution here. <clears throat> Molly Schoenhardt comes in up top. For Kylie Claiborne, left forward.
Aaron Thompson turns and sends it forward. Just a bit too much pace. And that'll be a corner for the Raiders. Here we go, Raiders! Come on, ladies! Another corner. Deflected out by Washington there. <coughs> and in the A division, it looks like uh, T area Titans have defeated Gro or Gerritsen 5 to 1 Aaron Thompson gets it over to the side to throw. Reagan Odegaard doing a real nice job in the back there for the Raiders. She is just anticipating those entry balls just so well. And she does something good with the ball every time she gets it. So. <clears throat> Now the Warriors have moved uh, Sky Mullen over to the right. Aaron Thompson is in the middle.
Another nice job there in the middle by Major Netrum. <clears throat> Looking for a center, but uh, kicked right to the keeper. Cavity Morris coming forward. She rips one. <laughs> Whoa, that was a fast piece of work there. She had she had some pace on that ball. That was a great save there by Adriana Heiner. Good job, Steve. Keep firing away. Long ball that went kind of errant, and that'll be a goal kick. Well, we're an hour into this thing. <clears throat> Neither side acts like they want to win it too bad. But Gabby DeMars made a lot of believers out of people at that last uh, shot. And though it's uh, <clears throat> cooling down really nice here at Rapid City, it's still pretty warmed out on the turf. I'll take a quick and this just in uh, on the Mitchell Yankton girls game. Yankton prevails in that one, four to one over Mitchell, four to one. One more big thank you to our sponsors, Home Federal Bank, Beef of Brady's, the original Pancake House, and Cellular Only. And all those sponsors you see, folks, on those scrolling dashboards above and below your video player, you get a chance. Thank them. And for good measure, do business with them. Tell them Soccer 605 sent you. Raiders getting a pretty long string of possession there. That pass finally, though, intercepted by Washington. Gabby DeMars runs that one down from behind. Great D, Raiders. Great defense. Raiders pass out of it. 
And now they're on attack again. Long ball intercepted. Nobody's settling right, right now. And that one kicked out. That'll be a Raider throw in. So I just was joined here by Rocky Curtis, one of the Cobblers players. You guys ready for Lincoln tonight, Rocky? We are ready. We're hoping we can compete with them. Well, it looks like your girls are doing real well there, so. That pass narrowly misses. Here comes Aaron Thompson, but balls run down from behind there. Gabby DeMars touches it outside. And again, loss of possession going into the final third. So why aren't you warming up? We don't play yet. We're not supposed to play yet. Oh, okay. Are they still high school season? Yes, I am. Having fun. We're going to be getting out four or five games every week live. So. Well, we're thinking about that. You know, we... One of, if you, I think you guys are in the stadium. So, yeah, that, and that's where we want to shoot out of. So. Yeah. Aaron Thompson holds up there to not be offside. And that entry pass intercepted. Just under 16 now left here in the game. Remember, we'll be back uh, right after this one at 8 o'clock p.m. with the boys' version. Washington at Stevens. That ought to be another very competitive contest. Good luck. Thanks for stopping by, Rocky. Aaron Thompson is going to get under that one. But who's there but Reagan Odegaard again to break that up. And we got a foul going. Washington's way here. Long ball in. And it just runs out.
Washington couldn't shake that one loose. And going into the final third. And that ball kicked pretty much straight to the keeper. Twelve and a half minutes left. Gabby DeMars puts it out left. Gabby DeMars <clears throat> has a little deflection. Raiders maintain possession. Play it around the back. Trying to probe up the other side. A lot of black shirts there. That's kicked out of bounds. Say, folks, I am joined here <laughs> by, by Dodgeball King Jack Gregg. I'm sure all you folks saw Jack's picture in the paper and on the media all around Sioux Falls today. And like Jack says, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Good. <clears throat> and I think that uh, dodgeball event we were talking about, they raised thousands of dollars uh, on that thing. So what a great event. Clock just ticked under 10 here. Still time for both sides to get something accomplished, but uh, neither side really having a tremendous amount of success. A couple of good shots here and there, but <clears throat> a lot of balls kicked to goalkeepers tonight. Aaron Thompson might get a chance here. Oh boy. Yes, they're mowing there. 
just couldn't quite connect. That was that was a mighty dangerous moment there. And actually a real nice uh, piece of defending there by McKenzie Winter uh, out at left back to delay that. Big shot. And that's saved by Adriana Heiner. Mallory Schoenhardt showing some tremendous speed there coming down the left side. Gabby DeMars in the middle of it again. Looking for Kylie Claiborne up top. And that one kicked out of bounds. Gabby DeMars picks another one off. Looking to connect up top. She gets a great ball through, but nobody there. Kylie Claiborne gets one in. Adriana Heinert takes care of that one. Opportunity here. Chance moment there for Washington. Van Allender centers that. That's intercepted on the way in by a defender. Let's go. Let's go. Raiders attacking hard. Four and a half minutes left in the game. Coach Sarah sending them forward. I won. Oh. Heiner makes it interesting, but ends up with the ball. Calendar centers. That's intercepted. And Gabby DeMars anticipates that one, picks it off. Can't connect going into attack there in the finish.
See you later, bud. Like Kenzie Winter sends uh, one up to the right side. She was looking for. Um, Kylie Claiborne there. <clears throat> Come on, Steven, let's finish the game! Come on, ladies! The goalie can't keep him in it forever! Under two minutes. Great opportunity there. <laughs> Van Allender having a great opportunity and just put it over. DeMars banged it in. And off the rebound. I'm not sure who got that. I'm thinking maybe that was Kylie Claiborne there. He picked that up and buried it with just over a minute left here in the game. That puts up the Raiders one to nothing. Yeah, well done. Good job, guys. Oh, great day, Stevens. Good job, ladies. Just over half a minute left. No turn, no turn. Good day, Raiders. Yeah. Good job, ladies. Oh, good pressure, Steven. Game over. Hey, the ball's up here. The ball's up here. And that's going to do it. Stevens Raiders were right at the end to take this one one to nothing at home. We wondered along the way if either team really wanted this thing, and it ended up going Stevens' way. Well, folks, I want to thank you for hanging out here at Soccer 605. We're very happy to bring you this live stream game. Make sure and uh, thank those sponsors that uh, brought you the game. And uh, we'll be back with you here in just a little while with the boys version of this game, Washington Varsity Boys at Stevens right here at the Sioux Park Stadium in Rapid City, South Dakota. Thanks for hanging with Soccer 605.